Hi, it's Jess here from My Jessica Creates. Thank you for joining me today. So I know it looks a little bit like I'm doing a book haul, but I'm not really. I'm going to talk about book covers. So in 2024, I plan to use more genuine ephemera and book covers. The cover of your journal is your first bit of genuine ephemera. So I went out um, looking for books well I went out with that in in mind not necessarily looking for books that I don't mind chopping up um and I was visiting my brother and sister-in-law down in Tavistock and we went to the pannier market there I don't know if you've ever been to Tavistock and they have quite a few bookstores in there and they have one that does um sell a load of vintage books and they usually sort of bundle them in like three for ten pounds it was december so i got four four for ten pounds so i spent ages looking and i was just looking at what's a nice pretty cover and i liked this it's even got a little bit of detail in there which i thought oh that's cool it's a little bit smaller than now this sheet of a4 sort of folded in half which i tend to do for um, my page is a little bit smaller than that, but you know, hey ho, so I have to cut my pages down. Um, that's that that's okay. So I thought that's that's quite good. Um, it, there's some interesting things in this book, some nice um, little images, and I looked it up. So it's it's from 1901. Uh, it's the tale of the Dales of Early Tudors. Um, so so it would probably be an interesting read. I don't read books, so um, I just cut them up. Um, there's a few illustrations through it which could be used. So I was kind of looking for a nice, they're quite nice thick um, pages as well. So in my decisions about which book to buy, it was, as well as having a nice pretty cover, I'm, I'm flicking to try and find an illustration. There aren't that many, but there are a few. And um, it was also to think about how I could maybe use the pages. There we go. So that is a picture there of lay hands upon me at your peril. Um, so he's shaking his fist. It's quite amusing that. Um, so yeah, um, so it was about, so this one I quite like because the papers were quite thick. So if I use that for, you know, I don't know, making tags or whatever, or even as a page in a journal, what I quite like is if I use a real book, for shame to treat in that coward fashion a faithful hound. How lovely. Look at the size of that dog. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I like to use the actual pages from the, uh, the book that was torn out. Um, I mean, it may even... I mean, sometimes, though, the binding on these old books, I say... I did think, oh, maybe I could turn it into an altered book. I might attempt to. Um, there's certainly enough pages. But I th often, with these older books, um, the binding is um, it's too delicate. And actually, there I can see it's already splitting there. So, no, I probably wouldn't. I'm just going to rip it out. Anyway, this book... <laughs> love this so gorgeous this this cover is like it's like i don't know roman emperor i loved that bit absolutely loved it it's a bit chatty there i'd have to um do some things on it the history i can't even speak the history of architecture on the comparative method by sir bannister fletcher um i looked it up um, there were some places where they were selling this book for quite a lot of money, but I don't think I'd get quite a lot of money for a book that's damaged like this. Um, I liked it. I liked the cover and there are some really, really nice things in it as well. So, um, yeah, I, um, I thought I'd uh, have some fun with the pages in here as as well as 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 you know sort of using using the book so um yeah so th this is why i went for this one um was uh so many lovely lovely images that i could easily use 
um, in things and there'll be things in here places that I've actually visited so uh, like Notre Dame went there this summer it was very moving to see it after you know being being rebuilt after the after the damage so yeah um probably lots and lots of page, page, pl pl places that I've been to in in here so yeah I liked this it is bigger than A4 this one um if you see half a sheet of A4 um in there we've got a big space top and bottom but I don't know that that necessarily matters um so yeah liked that um then this book um what i did was i had a little sneak peek at the dust cover and that is a lovely cover i liked it i thought it was quite pretty um it's got a lovely book plate which is dated 1931 um and um the pages are really thick and we've got some lovely um, discoloration there, but I really liked, I thought, oh, thick pages, they're great for tags and things. So this one was a no brainer to get because it's it's given me lots and lots of, lots and lots of things. So then I was looking for the number four and I got another Royal book. I got another Royal book. I mean, it's actually massive, this, this one. It's even bigger than the other one, I think. So in terms of using the cover, not really sure, but this was just nabbed because of the beautiful pictures in it. Um, so yeah, that one had to be got. I mean, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. So yeah, I was very happy about that. Very, very happy. I think if we fast forward, fast forward, we do get, there we go. We do get a picture of the late queen there. So, yeah. And there we have Queen Elizabeth there. I think, yeah. I had to stop myself because from the side that looked like Princess Anne. Um, lovely old vehicles. Yeah, so this one was got for that reason. And there's a nice little, little um, history there of things. So this will help with my royal journal. So this one, not necessarily grabbing the cover for, but the others are. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. And... Um, going to use it although now I'm sitting there looking at this one thinking would would it work as an altered book shall we try let's see what happens when I take let's just see so I was intending to just gut the book but this one's ah just don't stab yourself I don't know, what am I like? Put my glasses on and everything. I wouldn't mind, but it's not the first time. So it probably won't be the last. So let's pull that out. Thick as anything, these sheets. Right, so now we've got to the one that's that's stuck in. So let's try the next one to it and let's just see what happens. Because I don't mind having a few carcasses around for altered books, that'd be quite handy. Because I so enjoyed my last altered book. I'm dying to make another one. So. I think it gets a bit easier. It does get a bit easier. 
when you've taken a few of these out. Keeping me, uh, keeping my fingers well out of the way. There we go. see there how I've taken out the innards of those two so I think I'd carry on doing that in that and have myself an altered book going on there and then I've got the guts here and they are so thick that's just amazing absolutely amazing they'll make great little little bases for tags so that's what I'm doing with that one um, this one I don't think this one's gonna do because was this one where I already decided it was already falling apart yeah it's like hanging off the edge of this It's a very heavy book on that spine. I don't think it will work too well. It's really thick. So this is going to be gutted. Watch me gut. Watch me gut the book. So we want to go down here. But without going through this so with my blade just gonna take it down take it down the side can't see very well when I'm up there but I'm going down here and I'm trying really carefully not to go through this back bit I do find it easier when the book is stood up but I know you can't, you can't then see what I'm doing. And I would do it quicker if I wasn't being filmed. on the back here which I will pull off so now it's so much easier to take this bit off because you can pull it you can pull it quite quite wide apart there and you can as you pull it apart you can see this bit down here and so you can see where you can cut There we 
go. So I've got my book block. I've got my cover. And it's gorgeous. I love it. And there might be people that look this up and go, oh my God, she's cut that up. That was selling for £35. I think it was in places, but I don't think I'd have got it for this edition. So I'm not bothered. I bought this with the intention of doing this. So there we go. Right, I'm going to get a pair of scissors now because... to take this bit off and I can see the book cloth so as I go along here and now I'm avoiding it there we are so that's that probably need up a little bit more and now I've got a really easy to use easy to access book block here and I can rescue from it all the things I want I love that that's really really lovely so I will use that some way I've got some some nice images there at the beginning I'll probably use that somewhere in the book and I can easily as I say that's why this book's not worth much look at that it was falling apart um, so yeah so I will take the book apart in this way so that I've got pages like this and I'll just be able to use that. It's a double page. So that can get sewn in to the journal um, as it as it is. It's, it's joined together. That'll be a nice um, page in the journal. Likewise, this, and I'll probably keep that with the tissue on. And again, have that in the journal as a page. So that's what I'll look through now is deciding on what I can use in the journal um, and whether or not that do I want that in the journal or would I prefer to be able to use that nice um, lovely creamy blank um, black page love these blank pages go on the back of tags um, just gorgeous love that bit of green there love that that is definitely um, something that I want to use um, in the journal so that's what I'll be doing with that um, so these beautiful bits here I'll keep because they'll be they'll be nice they'll make interesting features on things so I, I kind of neatened up there I might neaten up a little bit more and then gonna reinforce okay so that's that tidied up these little bits yeah I'm probably spinning those so I want so you've got you can see the cloth there and that's the bit that goes on the side there. So I want to give that a bit more strength. And I've got some sort of cloth tape here. This is nice, strong construction tape, which I think I'm going to put down these edges. So give it a bit of strength so I'm going to do this 
first off. bonding to the back of that bit of fabric there. So I buy this tape from My Creative Spirit, um, which got an online shop in the UK. But there'll be other tape you can buy if you're not in the UK and can't access that. There we go. So that's given that a little bit of an extra layer. So that's my my first layer of defence there. I do need to put something across this as well to give that a little bit of strength. Um, might put a bit of fabric across there. Um, might put some Tyvek down as well. But this is the first thing that I wanted to do. So that already feels so much better now. It does feel like I'm I'm not going to just rip it. Now the ends of this are a bit worn, but I don't mind that. I'm quite happy with those worn bits at the end because I quite like it. Um, and I'll probably cover the spine in something but I quite like this design, so I might just go down the edges on the outside in something. But as I don't know at this stage what I'm gonna be making out of this, I might now just store it as it is until I'm ready to do something with it. So that's the way that's going. This one I'm gonna continue and see if it holds up to be a nice altered book. Um, I've got all these beautiful yumminess there to play with. This is going to go on my shelf where all my other royal things are and this one will go the same way as that but I'm going to leave it on the shelf for now um, because I've got these two to play with first and then I'll do something with that next but I just wanted to show you how easy it is I mean I some charity shops particularly in January well they do round here um, that they they often start January with a January sale um, because they're getting rid of their old stock so it's a good time to go and look out for vintage books um, so I will certainly uh, be doing that and I think if I've got a few book covers already gutted ready to go it will encourage me to um, to you know to get to get started a little bit more and, and I think sometimes people sort of worry about making covers well it's a ready-made cover so um, you don't have to you don't have to make this one it's already it's already made for you just a little bit of patching up neatening up and maybe adding um, a little bit of fabric or something um, 
on there. So, yeah, hope that's useful. Just thought I'd um, do that um, quickly with you. And then it, it means I've started. They've come off my... I've just bought it in a charity shop shelf. Can't use it yet because I've not filmed the haul. So, um, there we go. One less thing to do a haul of. Um, so, yeah. Um, not sure when you're going to see this video. Um, whether or not it's um, going to be in the new year or um, in between Christmas and New Year, that time when you have no idea what the day of the week it is. I've got a, this is for my strips. All my strips go in there. Um, so, um, so yeah, so it will go out after Christmas. So I hope you had a nice Christmas. Should have said that at the beginning. And um, I will, uh, yeah, I will be showing you my Royal Hall um to start my royal journal i thought if i film one it'll get done anyway i'm just i'm just waffling now so i will um i will get, i will let you on with your visitors and your festivities that you might still be doing okay bye for now